Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial with your instructional coach, Leslie Johnson. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Google Sheets and how to use it as kind of a collaborative whiteboard. I'm going to go ahead and go to my classwork tab in my class and I'm going to create an assignment because I want my students to do it. So I want it to be an assignment and I'm going to just call it whiteboard for the time being and I'm going to create sheets right here right now and it's going to go ahead and populate that spreadsheet so i'm not going to worry about the rest of the assignment um, i know it's going to be connected to that classroom i am going to go ahead and take my spreadsheet and click on what's known as the awesome box which selects everything because if i'm using this as a whiteboard i want to make sure i give students some space so i can make uh, the columns a little wider, the rows a little taller, and that just automatically formats all of that. So you can teach your students to claim a square and they can put in a picture, they can answer a question, they can ask you a question. You can have them put whatever they want in it, but I think the most unique feature of Google Sheets and why it's such a powerful tool for collaboration when with students is the fact that once I have put something in my cell, so time out, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so if I'm making this into like a get to know each other, put an image that represents who you are or something you're interested in, y'all are gonna know that's me because it's Minnesota Vikings V, right? And as soon as students are done with that, they can right click on the cell and then scroll down to protect range. They can add a sheet or range. I've already selected the range, it's A1. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that set permissions and change it to custom. Now, if they're not the owner of the sheet, it's going to say only you and the teacher's name, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to only you and click done. As long as you have set this up so that students can edit file, that's an important step. That's what makes this collaborative. Then when students enter this untitled spreadsheet and start working on it, they can select any cell they want to, right click, click protect range, set the permission to custom, only you and teacher, click done, and then no one else can go into that sheet and make changes to that particular cell. So it's kind of a, a fun way to get students together and you don't have to worry about them um, changing someone else's slide, changing someone's work on a jam board. It's, it's nice for that. It's the only Google application so far that lets you lock a piece of it. So I hope Looking at Google Sheets in this way has opened your eyes to some new possibilities and has those wheels turning. If you'd like some help using Google Sheets in your classroom, please let me know, or if you have any other video suggestions. All right, thank you for watching.